you know? I still remember reading it online. Byron signed a teenage wonder kid from the English third tier in 2011. And I remember thinking, wow, he really made it now. That's a true definition of a dream come true. Imagine being released by Liverpool as a youngster, literally being told you're not good enough, and moving to Tranmere Rovers, where you break through the team as a teenager. Scoring 6 goals in 29 games in a brilliant debut season as a teenager caught the attention of some of the bigger fishes in football. That being said, there aren't too many bigger fishes than Bayern Munich in the world of football. It was quite hard to resist. After all, how can you reject this chance of a lifetime. This was supposed to be a dream come true for young Dalgenics. This should have been the start of a brilliant career. That being said, things didn't go as planned. And after many off the field battles, Dell Jennings finds himself playing non-league football at 29. But the question is, what happened to this amazing young prospect and what led him to non-league football at 29? Well, to get that, we gotta go back. All the way back to the day his transfer to Bayern was finalized. It's summer 2011, and Byron signed one of the most influential goalkeepers of the decade in Manuel Neuer. On the same summer, they also signed Del Jennings from the third tier of English football. Suddenly, he was rubbing shoulders with Arjen Robin, Philippe Lam, and many many more at Bayern. And I gotta say, when you make a transition like that, it's really hard to not feel like you've made it. Imagine handling that kind of a transition as a wide-eyed teenager. While Manuel Neuer would go straight into the first team, Jennings was sent to Byron's second team to get some experience. That should have given him enough breathing space to adapt to a foreign league and hopefully grow on his own pace. That being said, injuries and homesickness both made it difficult to have any kind of progress. Matter of fact, he had a deep history of problems with injuries, to the extent that he actually failed his medical test at Bayern. His agent though convinced Bayern that they could look after his injury with their medical department and the transfer actually went through. What an agent by the way. I gotta say, that was a brilliant work by the agent. So yeah, not the best of first impressions from our boy's medical test, but he wasn't gonna miss this chance of a lifetime. That being said, he was already out for the first 3 months of his time at Bayern through hernia on his growing, and when he did recover, he injured his other side, and after that, his ankle ligament. Yep. You can tell that his first season didn't really go according to plans, and his homesickness and struggles to learn the language didn't really help matters either. As the injuries piled up, Bayern chose to cut their losses. Just a season and a half after his transfer, Jennings was sold to Barnsley for 250k. At this point, it will be easy to define him as a player defined by his failure to break through at Bayern Munich. But the story of Dale Jennings is much more complicated than that. And this is when his real struggles begin. For the next two seasons, he would play more than 50 games combined. But then, injuries start to take their toll again, and he's eventually released by Barnsley. After a short injury-ridden spell at MK Dons, he quit football altogether, or at least for two years. But this time, the temporary retirement wasn't caused by injuries, or at least, it wasn't the main thing that caused it. You see, in those two years away from football, Dell Jennings was dealing with a nightmare that no parent should deal with. His daughter, Myla, was suffering from leukemia before being diagnosed with another form of cancer a couple of years later. That's brutal, man. Imagine your daughter, your own flesh and blood, going through two forms of cancer. She fought the leukemia, and when she got the all clear, she was diagnosed with Wilms tumor in her kidney. The second cancer had nothing to do with the leukemia. It was a different cancer altogether. By the age of 6, she had already beaten cancer twice. Honestly, that's not something I'd wish my worst enemy to go through. These days, Jennings is back playing football again for the non-league club Prescott Cables at 29. This could have been and should have been a different career path for Dell Jennings. He's often on the list of young players who have blown their big chance, or the former wonder kids that failed in their potential. And maybe he did, but as with all stories in life, it isn't that black or white. And it will be simple, or I would say, lazy to write him off as a failure. There's certainly more to the story of Dell Jennings. It's quite a journey that Dell had in football. Honestly, fair play to him for battling back and restarting his career in England's lower leagues. 